Hello guys, it is Monday and I'm just chilling in the park with Jam Shed and I brought my book with me. I thought that I would just start another weekly vlog because I haven't done this in a long time. But yeah, I'm reading Circe at the moment by Madeline Miller and I didn't think that I'd like it more than The Song of Achilles but so far if I'm judging them by how far through I am in Circe compared to this point in The Song of Achilles, I think I'm actually liking this one more which is very very surprising. I just think I'm enjoying like the setting more of, I don't know where the titans live, it's not in Olympus but wherever the titans live and it's just got to the, like the major turning point in the book and I'm just really intrigued to see where it goes from here because we've got a long way to go and already so much has happened and I know that this book spans like thousands of years but I'm not going to tell you too much about the plot because I went in without even having read the blurb and it's worked out really well because I think I've just been like really enthralled by it and yeah sometimes you just got to do that to be honest but yeah today I've just been like editing since I woke up it's already the evening and I was editing all day and then we watched Holes <laughs> A classic. So yeah, I actually haven't read since the plane journey back. I've just been working all weekend, so I'm really excited to have a week of reading. I'm planning on going into central London tomorrow. Did a fly just land on my forehead? And so of course, I'm probably gonna go into <laughs> the flagship store. But anyway, yep, yeah, I'm gonna start reading now and then we're probably gonna go home and have some dinner. So I shall update you with any thoughts, probably tomorrow. Hi guys, sorry about the dishwasher noise in the background. So it's the next day, it's Tuesday now. And yeah, I'm about to go out to central London right now to pick up my boyfriend's birthday present. So yeah, I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna go to Piccadilly. I will be going into the bookshop, but not because I wanna go book shopping. It is something to do with his present. But yeah, that's kind of the plan for this afternoon. I'm going way later in the day than I wanted to. It is now nearly three o'clock and I really wanted to avoid like the rush. But anyway, I have to go because his birthday is tomorrow. But I thought that I would update you guys on my thoughts on Circe since I was reading it yesterday at the start of this vlog. So I'm now currently on page 103, which is chapter nine. So I kind of made quite good progress considering I started it while I was on holiday, like rushing around everywhere. It's kind of just a testament to how good her writing is because it's so easy to read, so easy to like get back into like after oh, you've put it down for a couple of days. I love it so much. I think I said on my Instagram story yesterday that I've literally only read like 90 or so pages of this and it's already like my new favorite book. Like I said yesterday, I'm really enjoying this and I said that I didn't know like where it was gonna go though, but something like major happened. I was quite shocked. So I'm very intrigued to see where that storyline goes, like if it goes anywhere. Not where I thought the plot would lead basically. So yeah, I'm absolutely in love and I'm gonna take it with me in my bag so that I can read it on the bus on the train. I might actually tell you guys a couple of my favorite quotes because I've been like kind of having a little bit. It was my first lesson. Beneath the smooth familiar face of things is another that waits to tear the world in two. The thought was this, that all my life had been murk and depths, but I was not a part of that dark water. I was a creature within it. Every moment he was with me, I felt a rushing in my throat, which was my love for him. So great sometimes I could not speak. Yet he said, May I return? Will you be here? For I have never known such a wondrous thing in all my life as you. That is one thing gods and mortals share. When we are young, we think ourselves the first to have each feeling in the world. And the last one, well, what do you have to say to me? You threw me to the crows, but it turns out I prefer them to you. But yeah, I'm gonna go now. So I'm gonna pop that in my bag and I will take you guys to central London with me.
Hello guys, I'm back from central London. I'm literally like straight after this gonna eat some ice cream or something because I'm so hot. Obviously like if I'm gonna go to the biggest bookstore in Europe, I'm going to buy myself something. Oh my god, I'm literally so embarrassed though. I literally told myself I wasn't gonna get anything. But yeah, I saw this book and I haven't heard of it. Apparently it came out in 2021, so last year. And yeah, I just looked at it and I was like, you know what, let me take a picture of it so I can remember it and I can buy it another time or maybe get it on Kindle or something because I'm really not trying to buy physical books at the moment but here we are I, I just couldn't walk away from it I was just like you know what this just sounds like the perfect like fun summer read it sounds like a mixture between like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and like Meg Habit books like The Mediator it just sounds so fun and also I think it's a lesbian romance as well and that is The Coldest Touch by Isabel Sterling. Apparently they're the author of These Witches Don't Burn, which I have heard about, but I just haven't seen this. Which also I'm like really obsessed with this cover as well. So it says, death drew them together, life could tear them apart. It's about this girl called Elise who is cursed. And like when she touches someone, she basically experiences how they are gonna die. And then I think that happens with her brother. I think she obviously wants to stop whatever she finds out from happening. And then she meets this vampire called Claire. Claire is supposed to help her like master her powers so yeah definitely sounds very much like Buffy the Vampire Slayer I cannot get it I'm so trying to justify myself but like seriously it looks so good oh yeah I forgot to mention that I'm also reading The Secret History right now because it's my Patreon buddy read book for June I haven't got very far in so you'll definitely be seeing me read that throughout this week as well however tomorrow I don't know how much reading I'll get done just because me and my boyfriend are going to Bournemouth to go to the beach because it's his 25th birthday tomorrow. But then on Thursday, I'm hoping to have like a really chill reading day. I'm hoping to do some Patreon live sprints with my friends. And then on Friday, I'm hoping to do some live sprints over on Jodie's Patreon. So I'm definitely going to try and make the most of this week in terms of my reading. I'm just so in the mood to read right now. Like it's just a good time. Right now I need to schedule my Berlin vlog for tomorrow, which you guys will have already seen it's like my favorite vlog on my channel if you haven't seen it yet i will link it up above because you need to go watch it i'm really proud of that video i put a lot of like effort into the editing and stuff and i'm going to really try my hardest to do that from now on but anyway i think i'm gonna make myself something to eat now i don't know what i'm gonna do for the rest of the evening but i'm definitely going to do some reading i don't know which book cersei the secret history
Hello everybody, so it's actually Friday now and yesterday I kind of had this big reading day planned, like not big reading day, like really chill reading day, where I just wasn't going to do anything, I was just going to stay home and try and get through as much of Cersei and the Secret History as possible because those are my two like current reads. But yeah, it didn't really work out. I did some Patreon live sprints for three hours with Lily and Jodie, which was really nice, but we didn't really get much reading done, we mainly just chatted. And yeah, that was pretty much it. I read a tiny bit on the sprints, but I don't think I read at all before or after the sprints, which was a shame. I actually ended up feeling quite ill. I think I might actually have food poisoning. I'm not entirely sure. I think if I do have food poisoning, it's probably quite mild. Um, actually, you can probably see that I've got a flannel, <laughs> a cold flannel on my neck. But yeah, unfortunately I couldn't actually like update you guys yesterday with like reading and stuff, which is what I plan to do. And I've got the day off tomorrow because I was supposed to be going to the Harry Styles concert, but the person that was selling me the tickets ended up blocking me recently. And so yeah, I guess I'm not getting the tickets from that person person anymore yeah i think they just sold their tickets to someone else and blocked me so they didn't have to like make an excuse you know i think blocking was like the easy way out for them and to be honest with you i'm not bothered enough to like try and find other tickets because i just know they're going to be so expensive but yeah i guess i'm not going to host stars anymore but it does mean that i've got the day off of work yeah this vlog has definitely been like a big mixture of like very summary things and me just like not feeling well <laughs> so sorry about that but yeah on another note i'm really happy to be back to weekly vlogging i say this a lot but i'm going to try and make this a very regular thing like obviously i really enjoyed doing the berlin one i'm very much enjoying doing this one i just want to give you guys more reading updates so i think the next time i check in with you will probably be with some thoughts about either cersei or the secret history I've just been distracted by a squirrel. So cutie. Okay, anyway, hello. So it's Sunday afternoon now. I've just come back from work and I thought that I would give you guys my final updates on the books that I was reading in this vlog before I wrap it up. <laughs> so obviously I was reading Cersei and the Secret History this week, which is such a power move. Caitlin actually pointed out during a live stream the other day that it is so cool that I'm actually reading both of these side by side and I've got to agree. I also realized that they're actually a great pairing to be reading like Greek mythology and history alongside the secret history, which is also like about a group of students studying like classics and like Greek philosophy and stuff like that. Not necessarily that I'm gonna get context from Cersei for the secret history, but it just feels like I'm kind of learning about these Greek myths and getting like really familiar with a bunch of like titans and gods that I haven't heard about before in this book. And then alongside that, hearing about like the Greek philosophers. I don't know, I'm not explaining myself very well, but it's just very interesting pairing to be reading both of these books. And I think I am getting a lot out of it. I definitely feel like I'm back to kind of like study like this is definitely like a level vibes reading this book and annotating it so heavily and like also looking into a lot of the words that I don't know and stuff like that when I'm reading this I'm finding that I'm very aware of like kind of like the techniques and also the themes in this I never really think about themes when I'm reading books I'm actually enjoying this way more because I'm annotating it and because I'm looking so like deeply into the meanings behind a lot of like the scenes and like what's being said and the imagery and stuff like that than I would if I hadn't been doing this while I was reading this. So obviously you guys can probably tell that I'm immensely enjoying this. I was very intimidated by it at first. I was actually really nervous to start reading it. And those of you who are on my Patreon are going to see that in the exclusive vlog that I'm doing for this book. I actually can't speak, but I'm so excited to keep getting into this. I'm now on page 82. I'm using my lovely bookmark from the National Gallery. 
so gorgeous. I have so many thoughts already, even theories. So I'll be getting into those in that spoiler filled vlog that I mentioned. So yeah, if you are interested, we are buddy reading this on my Patreon this month. And there's still time to join us. If you want to, we have a chat in our Discord where we are discussing the book. And then obviously Cersei, I got up to chapter 12, which is page 158. I don't really have many more thoughts on this one than I did when I last updated you guys. When I am reading it, I'm getting through it quite quickly just because it's a lovely way of storytelling the way that Madeline Miller's written this. But unfortunately, I haven't really had time to pick it up this weekend. I think for this one, I'm probably going to get through it slowly, hopefully finish it before the end of the month. That's kind of the plan. Honestly, top tier book. I'm having such a good time reading these two. And if I do a reading vlog for next week, you'll probably see these pop up again in that vlog. So yeah, I think that's all from me. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like my new style of editing and if I should carry it on into my future vlogs. I really appreciate all of you guys and all of your lovely comments. I just wanted to say that because I don't really say that enough. But yeah, I really do appreciate you guys and I really hope that you are having a good week wherever you are and I will see you in my next one. Bye!